Hi, I'm Jonathan Oxer and this is walk time blog number 6, Interface Insanity, Ubuntu, Thunderbird and even Google Docs. Now there is a little worrying trend that I've been noticing over the last 6 to 12 months in interface design, software interface design. And um, the most obvious thing that really came out and bit me a little while ago was the change to the Unity desktop on Ubuntu. When Natty, um, Ubuntu 11.04 came out, I switched over my desktop, did the usual upgrade thing, and um, was faced with the Unity interface and went, ah, what the hell is this? And quickly switched to the alternative, which is the traditional GNOME 2 based desktop and I was back in my comfort zone and everything was fine. Now the thing is that looking at the overall trend of development um, on say Ubuntu. Now I've been a, um, an Ubuntu user since way back in the first beta and in fact one of my books Ubuntu Hacks was obviously about Ubuntu and I love the development cycle that they have with the six monthly releases because basically it's like a little Christmas morning twice a year when I get to do the update to the next version of Ubuntu and get all the wonderful new features and each version is an increment on the version before it so you, know, you get cool new stuff things improve, it's a general upward trend but has user interface design jumped the shark? I'm beginning to think that maybe it has a couple of releases ago Ubuntu was at the point where it was amazingly usable things worked, you know, printer setup worked and uh, everything was con you know, consistent and smooth and fast and generally quite stable. And the thing is that now interface design seems to be getting into that area where uh, movie OS designers have taken over from usability um, based approaches. So we're seeing some really weird stuff. And sometimes it looks like the interface has come off the, uh, you know, something that you see on the Starship Enterprise where it's lots of big coloured buttons and sliders and things like that but very little information density and very few visual cues. So one of the things I don't like about um, some of the newer interface designs is that um, a lot of information is hidden. They're just big icons with no um, text explanation and particularly in the latest um, Unity desktop, even things like window titles disappear and the menus disappear. And what the hell, why would you make a menu disappear? I could understand if you were doing it for space reasons. You know, you want a bit more room on the screen so you can have information slide aside and you know, titles disappear or something like that if you can put some more content there. But the thing is, in this case, it seems to be purely for aesthetic reasons. What happens is that the menu disappears and you end up with the menu bar in the exact same place but it's blank. So what's the point of that? It's not, if, not as if you gain anything and it's really really annoying. So with Natty um, that was okay. I tried to use Unity, couldn't stand it, switched to GNOME 2 and everything was fine but um, last week I decided time has come I've got to do the upgrade to Oneric, so I ran the upgrade, ended up facing the Unity desktop, and all of a sudden GNOME 2 is not even an option. If you're going Ubuntu Oneric, it's Unity or nothing, and I really couldn't stand it. But I thought I'm not going to be one of those old farts that just refuses to accept anything new. I'm going to give this a red hot go. So I sat down with it and thought I'm going to try to learn this, understand the new way of doing things and become comfortable with it. And I tried and I tried and I just couldn't. So I ended up ditching Ubuntu. And um, I've gone back on the distro hunt that I haven't done for a decade or so. And um, since then I've installed um, Debian and a number of other um, distros again. Right now I have Linux Mint, which is an Ubuntu based distro, but with GNOME 2 running on my machine and it's really nice. Everything feels comfortable, it's all fast and smooth, and it's what I expected. But then, what's going to happen with Ubuntu? I don't know. This is really worrying. Um, and I've noticed it in a number of other um, distros as well. Not necessarily just the GNOME based ones. They seem to feature eye candy over usability. Now, this brings me to 
Thunderbird. I don't actually use Thunderbird, uh, but I know many people who do. And more than one person has complained to me recently that in a recent update, the Thunderbird user interface became monochrome. Now this is really weird. When you are putting menu items up or a toolbar or something like that, you want to give people the quickest way possible to recognize items and click on them. You don't want to delay them while they are trying to seek out the right thing to click. And reducing it to monochrome means that they have less visual clues. For example, uh, if you want to select uh, a particular icon that you know you remember is always red, you just go for the color. You don't necessarily need to visually process the shape of all of the icons. And um, in user interface terms, this is called affordances. It's these little visual cues that make up to, um, you know, they combine together to make the interface easier to use. And by switching the interface to monochrome, it basically removes a whole dimension of information that is traditionally available to users. And the only effect is that it makes it harder to use. The only reason for doing it is a bit of visual style or something. It's just stupid. And um, yeah, that's right, Google Docs uh, has just done the same thing. And so there's the try the new Google Docs interface that has come up. And I gave that a go and looked at it and it was all monochrome and I went, what the hell is going on? And more than that, they've actually removed many of the items that were on the toolbar. They've spaced the toolbar out more so that there is less room for the content itself. And it's all in a gray monochrome. So this looks like the new trend in user interface design is just make everything monochrome. And it's horrible. It makes it really, really slow to use. Every time I try to find a, a tool on the toolbar, I've got to sit there and look at it for an extra, you know, second or two, trying to figure out which one's which. For example, if I wanted to use the tool for um, changing the background color or the text color of text, um, those little icons would normally have a colored bar or a colored grid, and they, they stand out in the toolbar. But now, they're just gray like everything else, and I've got to hunt around to find them. So, I don't like this. Now the thing is that in hunting for a Linux distro to use, you know, there's the um, <laughs> the famous old saying. I think it was um, Andrew Kovalev in Alt System in Recovery many years ago said, um, "A mouse is a device used to point at the X term you want to type in," and that's been pretty much the way I've been for a long time. I spend a lot of my time on the command line, and now with so much stuff online, particularly things like Google Docs that I use, you know, all the time, every day, I hardly even need any software installed on my computer. The computer itself is just really a way to gain access to my X terms and a way to run a whole bunch of browser windows because everything I run is remote. I manage stuff on servers using um, SSH and applications I run, even things like accounting, are all online apps. So I just want an operating system that will give me a simple interface and get out of the way. And it um, looks like, for now, Linux Mint is it. But it'll be interesting to see where this goes. So if you are doing user interface design, oh, uh, that's right, the other reference. Um, what I was talking about before with the menu items disappearing if you move away from them, this is a lesson that was learned way back in the 90s by um, the web design industry when a whole lot of websites came out using what became termed mystery meat navigation because you don't know what's in it or what's behind it. Um, I think it was Vincent Flanders who ran the Websites That Suck website who coined the term. So um, mystery meat navigation is where you have a series of icons or pictures or something on a page and there's no um, text or explanation of what they go to and when you move the mouse over them or the cursor over them They change state and then you can see what they are But until then you've got no idea and so what we're effectively seeing now is mid to late 90s mystery meet navigation appearing inside actual desktop user interfaces and it's just dumb so please don't do it. Thank you